Do you know how many whales the Persis Howell took in one season? Mm hmm? Nothing, never mind, nothing. What are we doing in Matthew's room? Well, you're downstairs, if you like. That's not what I mean. I know what you mean. The answer is still no. But why can't I talk to her? Why? First Connie, then Mike Rossi, now you. Rachel's room is beginning to look like the public library. Yes, you've all had your try and you've all botched it. She'll talk to me. I know that she will. Now listen, Dad. Rachel may be young. She may be confused, but she's not stupid. One more person hammering away at her and we're liable to drive her so far into herself that we may never get her back again. I'm not going to hammer her. We're just going to have to let things cool down, that's so. all. Yes, because you attacked instead yeah. of trying to understand. No, it's because she's frightened, Dad. Elliot, she has a reason. And what's that reason? I'll find out if you'll just give me the chance. Where are you going? I'm going to see what time it is. Have you figured to starve her out of her room? Now, look, Dad, uh, we both appreciate your... Yes, yeah, so you much so you won't but even let me talk to her. Yeah, She's oh, holed up in that can't room like see some her, animal no hiding what from the house. Think. And when you yell like that, you'd scare a stevedore. I haven't even talked with her. That's nothing to be proud of. I need some more coffee. No, 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 no. no wait a minute, Elliot. I, I don't want to talk. talk anymore. Let's not shout I this think time. Just enough. listen to me. Please listen to me. I've been Rachel's friend ever since she first came into All this right. town, scared and confused, just like she is now. But I never doubted her. I never accused her of anything. So she still trusts me, and I trust her. And that's more than can, can be said for any of you. Mm -hmm. You can't see her, Dad. Not just yet, is all. Just yet, some other time. Come back tomorrow, go play some. Right, that's not all it. right, if you want to act like a two-year-old that won't share his ice cream cone, it's all right with me. I don't have to play your silly game. Where are you going? Dad? Dad? Rachel, could I talk to you for a moment? Shh, you come away from the door, Dad. Rachel, can I come in? You're not helping things with Dad at all. But she needs some. Now isn't the time. Now is exactly the time. Dad. Then you talk to her. Not yet. She Dad. thinks of you as a father. Don't turn your back. I have a daughter, and she's the only one that I can worry about right now. Well, I'm going to worry about Rachel. Listen to me, Dad. This is the game. I'm not playing. Stop it. You both say you care so much, and you show it so little. Coffee. <laughs> oh, just as I was getting comfortable, excuse me. Good evening. Will you come this way, please? already said that. Oh, I didn't know originality counted. Well, shall I be very polite and sophisticated and say hello to Stephen? Well, I hope you brought your sleeping bag. Well, I know that's fraught with meaning. He's I... out of town. Ah. Mm, well. That's 
a pretty thought, too. Well, I'd best be buzzing off. Oh, it's, it's Frances. But you scared her away. Well, if you're going to go, go. If you're going to stay, stay. But stop doing that little dance. You're making me dizzy. Well, I don't want to compromise you. You couldn't. With an invitation like that, how can I refuse? You know, this wasn't part of the uh, Peyton backyard the last time I looked. I just came from a double feature. Oh, I can top that. I just came from my father. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. Come in, please. This is Rod. Listen, we are approximately three and a half feet away from each other. We have not said one civil word. She is alone. That is, if you don't count me, and I'm sure you don't. My treat. Betty. Betty, wait. Betty, wait a minute. Betty. Tell it to your lampshade. I just don't know what to say to you anymore. Look, Rod. If you want to blame me for your grandfather's will, fine. If you want to take your dislike for Stephen out of me, that's fine, too. But why don't you send me a, a, a poison pen letter? It'll be a lot easier on the both of us. I can't see you. I can't be near you without Stephen lurking behind some bush. Betty, I can't even think about you without feeling guilty. Well, Stephen's my husband. Don't I know it? Well, he has the right to... To spy on you? To make anybody who's ever felt anything about you feel like a sneak thief? That's your problem. And Stephen's yours. You don't understand him. Do you? Well, Stephen loves me. You love him? Yes. I'm Mrs. Cord. Oh, that you are. For better or for worse. You don't understand me either. Maybe you're right. And it's just too late to start trying. Is it? Good night. Betty, if you were anybody else, I'd offer to walk you home. I can find my own way, thanks. Look, Mrs. Cord. No hands.
preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. One move, one word might set him off. There's no telling what he might do. You can't afford to take that chance. Elliot, promise me you'll let the police handle this. Maybe if I told the cops the little I do know of... It wouldn't have made any difference. Then tell me one thing, Leslie. Why are you in such a sweat? Yes.